Ah, codependency, my old friend. Now, codependency is different than dependency. We are dependent on people in our relationships to some degree, but interdependent relationships tend to work best for everyone involved, where you can depend on each other and support one another without necessarily drawing your worth and value from self-sacrifice. Codependency characterizes imbalanced relationships, where one person enables another person's destructive tendencies. When you consistently elevate the needs of others above your own, surprise, you're probably codependent. Experts originally coined the term codependency in the 1940s to help describe specific behavior patterns they noticed in partners and family members of people living with alcohol use disorder. By its original definition, codependent described people who enabled alcohol use by making excuses, hiding the usage, and protecting the person from any fallout or consequences of their actions. Now, in more modern times, codependency is more nuanced and complex and applies to many situations beyond substance abuse. Contemporary codependency is more often associated with enmeshed relationships, where one person loses their sense of independence and thinks that they need someone else. So according to research from 2018, patterns of codependent behavior generally involve four main themes, self-sacrifice, a tendency to focus on others, a need for control, and difficulty recognizing and expressing emotions. Now, there are many signs you are codependent, but I think most often it's associated with guilt. Guilt for saying no. Oh my god, it's my ex. Answer it! Hello? Hey, Michelle. Um, I know it's been years since we've talked, but I, I had to call because I need you. Oh my god, really? Yeah. My car won't start, and I remember you always carry jumper cables with you, so I'm about to head to a date right now, but if you could head to my place and charge it and have it ready by 7, that would be dope. Okay. Guilt when you don't rescue others. Oh my god, the timer starts at 30 seconds. We're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. You know what, you guys seem really stressed out about this. Why don't you just hand them over to me? What? Yeah, like I can I can take your bombs and I'll just wait for the diffusion team to get here. We have 20 seconds, they'll never make it. Hand them over. Yep, just fasten them to my body. Great, great. Why don't you guys head out? Guilt for putting yourself first. <laughs> I can't believe I'm next. <laughs> Meeting the big woman. Um, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me? Uh, I, I was next in line. The hell did you just say to me? Oh, I, I, I was in line next um, for the pearly gates. I, I got in line really early, like at 1000 BC. It's fine, it's really cool. <laughs> Rude. Guilt disabling any boundary setting. Hey, Anna, yeah, I already jump-started your car, so it should be all set to go, uh... Oh, you want me to take it to the car wash, too? Uh, oh, actually, I've got a chemotherapy appointment, so I... Oh, double espresso with oat milk and a shot of foam. Okay, you got it, I'll be there. And finally, confusing pity and guilt with love. She's just so helpless. She has no one else except for me. Lucky special chosen me. Her one true love. Isn't that right, Doris? Treating codependency means extracting yourself from the all too comfortable role of caretaker and doormat. Healthy interdependent relationships include setting boundaries, honoring your own needs, and deriving your self-worth not by how you need to feel needed, but by supporting others and being supported in balanced relationships. Because relationships are not 50-50, they're 100-100. And despite what your codependent tendencies are telling you, being a whole person responsible for yourself is the best way to honor someone else. I'm Anna O'Connor. Thank you to the patrons for supporting today's video. And thank you to my codependent partner, Daddy Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. Now, Daddy Squarespace has an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business, complete with codependent tools and analytics to have your website or online store be the less boundary it can be. Does that make sense? No, but Daddy Squarespace makes it make sense. For all of you who love to create audio content, you can use Audio Blocks, which allows you to embed audio on your site and tag the audio for iTunes when your audio block is placed into a blog. Plus, you can have multiple codependent people receive selective access to your site's website manager and emotional health. And don't worry, you own all of the content that you put on the Daddy Squarespace platform. And he offers one-click Daddy portability. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and whenever you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com dot com slash Anna. Save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Daddy Squarespace.